Hello, hello, hello. If you can uh, hear the sound of my voice and uh, see my screen, uh, definitely type in the chat box. Let me know that you can hear me and see me. And type in where you're, where you're watching from. We'd love to see uh, who we got on the line here. I'll definitely uh, give you a shout out on the webinar. We should be going here in a couple uh, minutes or so. Uh, I just want to welcome you all to tonight's webinar. Uh, for just joining us, come out. Let me know where you're watching from. Uh, if you can hear me, also let me know too, so I know that we're all good to go here. All right, hey Lisa, hey Lisa, great to see you on. Anyone else want to come out and say what's up? Awesome, we've got cool Robert from Atlanta. Welcome, welcome. My family actually lives out in uh, Covington, Georgia, so I'm down there quite often, but welcome to the webinar. Uh, if you're just joining us, type in the chat box, let me know where you are watching from. We're gonna get going here in a few minutes. Let me just uh, check the social media sites to make sure uh, no one's having trouble getting on. If you are just joining us, come on out, say what's up, say your name, type in the chat box, let me know where you're watching from. And we will get going here in a few seconds. Looks like we got a, um, a shy bunch here. Uh, Definitely, definitely come out. Say what's up if you're up for it. Not, we'll be going here in about 30 seconds. <clears throat> hey, we got Greg from North Dakota. What's up, Greg? Great to have you on. Awesome. Cool. Let's uh, let's dive right in. You know, it is about nine o nine o two, uh, and definitely want to be very conscious of your time uh, this evening. Um, yeah. So let me hit record. Let's uh, get going. Got a blog. You know how to monetize. All right. Well, well, gotcha. We got some some tips here to help you monetize your blog. Cool. Let me hit the record button, and uh, let's. Get started. Awesome. Well, good evening, and uh, you know, welcome to this uh, this webinar: Seven Figure Secrets I Learned from from a Million Dollar Blogger and how you can use them today to attract high quality prospects to you. Now, before we start, I have a couple questions. Let's see if my slides are working. Actually, give me one second. Not too sure why this. There we go. Okay. There we go. Okay. Got a few questions for you, right? You know, how would it feel? Uh, if building your business became easy because people saw you as the authority that they wanted to buy from and join, right? Comment in the comment box. Let me know how would that make you feel. You know, if you had, uh, you know, it was easy to build your business because people saw you as the authority and wanted to buy and work with you. I see like, oh, awesome. It'd be incredible. Awesome. Great, great. How would it feel if you woke up every day and people reaching out to you, right? How would it feel like if you woke up in the morning and you had, you know, leads coming in, you know, sales coming in, commissions coming in. How would that make you feel? You woke up from your, your eight hours sleep and in your inbox was, you know, leads and sales and commissions and you did no work while you were sleeping, obviously. Great, amazing, sweet. That can happen for you. You know, how would it feel to no longer have to chase your family and friends to, uh, Robert says, relief. You know, how would it feel to no longer have to chase your family and friends to have them take a look at your business opportunity, right? No more going to the mall. No one going, no more going to, you know, Starbucks to prospect strangers. No more chasing their family and friends to see, hey, take a look, take a look, take a look. How would that make you feel? A relief, you know, no more uh, negative, negative family members. Cool, cool. You know, how would it feel to ditch the hotel meetings, the home parties, you know, the vending and the prospecting at the mall, right? 
you know, how long do we want to be doing home parties in this business? How long do we want to be doing, you know, hotel meetings, right? With blogging, there's a certainly a way to, to eliminate that. And I'm going to show you exactly how to do that this, this evening. You know, what would that be worth to you? What would it be worth to have that kind of freedom to run your business almost practically on autopilot while you're sleeping, while you're doing other things? Amazing. Relief. Awesome. Sweet. Great. So a little bit about me, uh, then we'll dive into this training. You know, um, my name is Antonio Thompson. And you know, I was born and raised uh, in Brooklyn, New York. And quite honestly, you know, I was a, a academic overachiever, right? You know, I did everything that was expected of me. Graduated from high school, went on to college and earned three degrees, right? A bachelor's degree and two master's degree. And, you know, throughout that time, you know, I thought I could really make a decent living, you know, being a professional musician, right? And today, you know, I'm going to share with you some of my results, what I've been able to accomplish in this industry, and also share my story. But, you know, it hasn't always been uh, the, the rosy and the, uh, the, the level of success in my business, right? So right now, I'm a full-time online marketer uh, since June 15th. I actually fired my boss in June 2015. Uh, I've generated over 1,500 plus leads since April 2015, um, and I average about 100 plus leads a month. And last month, uh, in particular, I generated 182 leads, I recruited uh, five new reps, and reached a new leadership level in my company, as well as uh, was recognized as the member of the month, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So as I said before, you know, I was working full time at a job. Um, you know, there's my my staff picture, my mugshot back there. Um, but I was doing everything I was expected of me, you know, working a full time job, you know, saving for retirement with the hope of being able to pay off, you know, my student loans, uh, you know, and, and live the American dream and have a, a wonderful life in retirement. That was my what I thought was what's supposed to happen in the real world, right? So uh, as I began to look at, you know, uh, my loan payments and my actual salary, the the prospect of, you know, being able to pay off those loans and also live a fulfilling life in retirement seemed a bit unrealistic, right? I love what I was doing uh, at the college, but factoring the, the salary uh, versus, you know, loan payments and, and future, I was just like, this is going to be very difficult to to really live off of this as well as pay off my student loans. And I'd be in, be working for the next 30 years or so, if not one or, or two jobs. Right. And so, you know, um, I, we all have dealt with bosses who, who, uh, who are, you know, overworking you and like you, you feel like you're underpaid, you know, and I had these frustrations at work, right? I wasn't getting the, the compensation that I thought I was really worth. Um, definitely being overworked and my boss, you know, had unrealistic expectations of me in my job. And that environment just become, became very, very, very toxic. I'm sure many of you can relate to that, right? How many of you on the line feel that you are overworked, underpaid, your boss has unrealistic expectations of you, and your work environment is toxic, and you're ready to, to leave, right? You want to create a lifestyle where you can work for yourself and, and live the life that you always, always dreamed. How many of you can relate to that? Raise your hand. Okay, seeing some hands here, sweet, sweet, awesome, awesome. And so that's when I discovered, you know, when I had this frustration and looking for, you know, another a way out, basically, I found network marketing. Um, and as um, Eric Worre says, you know, it, I discovered a, a better way. It just was that, a better way. But, you know, I had been in the industry for about 16 months and, you know, I would gotten nowhere. And, you know, I... Um, was doing the things that my upline told me, right? He said, you know, make a list of a hundred of your friends and family and contact all of them. I contacted all of them and they all said no. Um, I ended up spending countless uh, hundreds, if not even thousands of dollars going down uh, the rock rabbit hole, trying to find things that, that would work, you know? I even paid for my family member's auto ship just so I wouldn't feel like a, a, a loser or worthless, right? I said, that's a bad move. Don't do that. But that's what I did. I thought that, you know, I, I, I could really have some success in this industry. And in 16 months, I got nowhere. Um, then I discovered, you know, some secrets. And, and those secrets I'm going to share with you um, this evening uh, as it relates to blogging. And so, 
when I discovered these secrets, the results began to come, right? This is a quick snapshot of uh, my Facebook fan page. You know, that's over 12,000 fans, people who liked my page. You know, these aren't likes um, that I bought from some site like Fiverr where they promise to get you a billion likes for like $5. These are highly targeted fans who have an interest, you know, in what I have to share and what I'm, um, you know, providing the value that I'm providing on my um my uh, Facebook fan page. And so, you know, what did that do for my business, right? As you can see here, it allowed me to generate over, well, more than 1,500 leads. It's almost 2,000 leads since April 2015. Uh, today alone, 13 leads. In the last seven days, 42 leads. In the last 30 days, 217 leads. On the right-hand side, that's the list of my, my email subscriber list, you know, 25 uh, subscribers today, 38 yesterday, and a total of 2,004. Um, subscribers. In addition, you know, I made the leaderboard inside a program that I promote right now. If I, were, if I were to ask you, you know, how would it feel um, if you made the leaderboard and whatever uh, it is you're promoting, right? On the slide here, I'm on the leaderboard with some industry titans like uh, I think Ray Higdon's on there, uh, Lisa Torres, uh, Aaron Parker, uh, David Wood, uh, Justice Egan, a lot of a lot of industry titans, and I'm telling you. If you uh, pay attention to what I share this this evening and take notes, um, you will be able to top the leaderboard and whatever it is uh, you you want to promote. And then more results came right. Um, these are this is a snapshot of you know leads that have come in recently, some sales, uh, you know commissions. You know when you're when you inbox, inbox up like this, and this will totally happen for you, and it will come in on total total autopilot for you if you follow the strategies that I share uh, this evening. It's also allowed me to to um, to hang with some of the top marketers in the industry. That's me with Ray Higdon at an event and travel the world. That's me in Thailand. It also allowed me to pursue some of the passions um, that I have for music and teaching. Uh, additionally, that's more pictures of me traveling Cambodia and I think Thailand again. That's my dog, Snowy. You may hear her in the background. She definitely likes to bark at the door when uh, anyone moves. So if you do hear a dog, that that's her. Um, so what changed for me, right? You know, I have results. I have been somewhat successful in my uh, short period in the industry. What changed for me? What I, what I did learn is I identified what new people were being told about the industry and what success looked like for them versus what successful uh, reps and top earners were actually uh, doing in the industry. And I'm going to share with you exactly you know, what that is as it relates to, to blogging. So expectations for this evening. You know, we should go for about uh, 60 minutes, um, maybe a little longer with questions. But for the next 60 uh, minutes or so, I want you to eliminate all distractions, right? If you have children, you know, plop them in front of the TV, turn off Facebook, put them to bed, turn off Facebook, turn off Instagram, you know, Twitter, shut off your phone, and, and pay close attention to the information I'm going to share with you this evening. Uh, you also want to go and grab a, a pen and paper you have, if you haven't done so or, already to take notes. And I really want you to uh, suspend your disbelief and believe in, in what's possible because what I'm going to share uh, this evening is possible for everyone on this training. You know, 16, 18 uh, months ago, um, I was probably in many of your shoes, you know, struggling, you know, at a job I didn't like and trying to make this network marketing thing work. And then I found some answers and I figured out how to make it work. You know, lastly, you know, I want you to, you know, uh, engage, right? This is going to be, I'm trying to be very interactive with you. So if I ask questions, you know, definitely comment in, in the comment box, raise your hand. If you have questions, definitely put them in the comment box and I'll make sure to get to them um, towards the end. But for the next, you know, 60 minutes or so, you may look back at this information I'm going to share with you and realize that today could be a, a breakthrough for you and, and realize that you, you may have found uh, the answer and the solution that you can step into right now in the next 24 hours and start seeing results uh, that will really make a difference in, in, um, in your business. And my promise to you this evening is to you know keep it moving. I'm only going to share with you the information that I think is uh, highly valuable and that which you can implement right now to start making money in your business. And so with that, let's let's get started and move on. Oh, one more thing. So I will share that um, I'm going to be upfront with you right now. You know, I'm very transparent. At the end of this webinar, there will be something for sale. And here's the deal. You know, the information um, I'm going to share with you today, you know, however, you know, I, 
I don't want you to invest in what I offer at the end if I don't live up to my promise. If I don't want you to invest in what uh, I offer you at the end, unless I make good on my promise to share with you the seven figure secrets I learned from Millionaire Blogger to attract high quality leads and sales on autopilot. Now, if I make good on that promise and I do show you exactly that, and you think that uh, what I share with you is a fit for you, then I want you to take advantage of this limited opportunity that I'm going to tell you about today, okay? If it's right for you, okay? So let's let's dive right in. I have a couple questions for you. You know, how much money do you want to make this year? I know we're in March already, <laughs> but uh, you know, just curious, how much money do you want to make this year? Comment in the comment box. All right, $25,000, okay? Others, well, how much money do you want to make this year? 70k, all right? Others, others, how much do you how much money do you want to make this year in your business? 100k, okay? 25k. Awesome, awesome. Have you heard this quote before? You don't get paid uh, for the hour, you get paid for the value you bring to the hour. How many of you guys have heard that before? $30,000? Yes, I've heard it. Yes, I've heard it. Awesome. So here's the deal. You get paid by the value you bring to the marketplace, right? So if you want to make $30,000 uh, this year, if you want to make $75,000 this year, if you want to make $10,000 this year, you must provide that amount of value, $10,000 worth of value to the marketplace. Now, how do you become more valuable? Some, some, some thoughts. How do you become more valuable to the marketplace? What are some thoughts on how you can become more valuable? Sell more stuff. Okay. <laughs> how can you personally become more valuable? Increase my education and skills. Okay. You're, you're on to something. There we go. You become more valuable by becoming an authority, right? Think about Think about your business. Think about your company. Think about you know anyone that you see that is you know making a lot of money. You know LeBron James um, is valuable, right? And he makes a lot of money. He's valuable to his team or any team he's on, right? You look at you know top earners in the industry. Your 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 top leader in your company. Why why are they making the big bucks? Because they have become an authority and they're valuable and they're saw you're right, Greg, you know, learning to solve problems, right? And that's how you become an authority, and you can do so um, through blogging. And when you do so, and you can do so before, and you can do so before you even have major results, right? You can become an authority. This is a, you know, some people may 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 say that, oh, I can't. I can't. I'm not an authority because I don't have any results. I'm not an authority because I don't. I haven't made. A, I haven't gotten a lead yet. I haven't, you know, generated a sale yet, right? You can position position yourself as an authority before you even have results. You know how how, how can you how can you say you know uh, that you know uh, you can get results without result have a major success or have be an authority without results. You know, I've done it and and, and Ray Higdon have, has done it as well. Before I even had a results in my business, as you saw a few slides ago, 16, 18 months ago, I was creating content, right? I was creating, you know, simple videos that I shared with my audience what I was learning. I was on webinars just like this and taking notes and creating videos and sharing content that was helpful to my marketplace. And over time, after let's say 200 blog posts and over 200 videos, results start to come in because I have content and value out there and people are seeing me as an authority. And this is all possible for you. So here's what you're going to learn tonight, right? You're going to learn, you know, five simple ways to become an authority uh, in any niche virtually overnight, even if nobody knows who you are right now. You're going to learn, you know, the easiest way to build a powerful online presence. You're going to learn how, to, how blogging can actually turn you into a social media rock star. Um, and, and five simple ways, even probably, I can have even more ways to come up with content for your blog. A lot of times people are like, well, I'm blogging. What do I talk about? Right. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly how to come up with some content for your blog. And I'm going to, I'm going to show you a simple, you know, step-by-step -step formula, uh, on how to, uh, monetize your blog. Now I'm going to make some assumptions and, and this may be true and may not be true for you. And the first is you and this webinar is basically predicated on these assumptions, right? You are not good with technology. That's my first assumption. 
you 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 barely know how to use a calculator let's say that you don't have no techno technological skills or whatever that's my first assumption the second assumption is that you have no results in your business right now you may generate you've generated no leads you're making no money I'm making that assumption because uh, I want to keep this very, very, uh, very uh, simple and, and easy for you to grasp, right? You work a full-time job. You work, let's say, 60 hours a week. You have <laughs> two kids, and you literally have no time to think and no time to build your business. Um, that's an assumption, right? And the other assumption is, you know, uh, no assumption. I'm actually going to show you, you know, uh, this evening how you can still create uh, result results despite you know those hindrances of working you know 60 hours a week you know not being techie and not having results in your business how you can still become an authority even if you uh, are, are are working a full time job and, and don't understand technology now if you have the time and you do understand technology this is gonna be quite a, a fun presentation for you right because you are gonna you know eat this all up <laughs> um, so the five steps to becoming an authority online right. And this is, these are, these are very um, uh, critical steps, so make sure you're writing these down. The first step is you have to have a vision, right? You must have a vision of, of who you want to become and how you want to be known in the marketplace, right? You know, who do you want to be known as? You need to stop focusing on, like, the money that you need and the money that you don't have and really focus on... Um, who you want to become in order to make that kind of money, right? And so when you when you shift shift that um that that mindset and that paradigm, uh, when you start focusing on who you want to become and the the person that you need to be in order to generate that income, the money will come, right? And so instead of focusing on you know what you need, what you want, what you desire, which is about all about me, 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 you need to focus on who you want to become, which is by, by default, focusing on your audience and focus on providing value and solving the problems of your target audience. You need to see yourself in a better situation than you currently are, um, you know, without justifying where you are, right? So oftentimes people are like, you know, well, I'm not techie, so that's why I can't set up a blog. Or they find these limitations that, um, you know, they're, 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 they're real, but when you place yourself in that, 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 that persona or that that mindset, you're you're gonna stay there, right? Justifying where you are keeps you where you are, right? Telling it like it is, you know, kind of like keeps it like it is. Nothing's going to change. So you need to put yourself in a in a place where where you are forward thinking. You are thinking about the person you you're going to be or you are to get to that next level, right? And you need to say, you know, say no to non-serving statements. We we hear it all the time, right? I don't know what to do. It's easy for you to say you've got results, you know. Um, if I um, if I had started, you know, when you know Google AdWords was hot, I would be you know leap, leaps and bounds ahead in the industry. Um, you know, it isn't working for me. I got one lead, but it's still not working for me. Right? These non-serving statements are going to keep you where you're at. So you need to adjust your mindset, adjust you know who you are and who you want to become. So that's very. It's very forward thinking. You're thinking about the future, thinking towards what, what you want to achieve. And it's all about serving people, right? Um, also, uh, in tandem with, you know, creating that vision, you know, goals are important. Yes, goals are great, but goals are not enough, right? You can have goals to make $10,000 this year, $75,000 this year, but what's going to get you past those tough times and keep you going is your vision, right? You need to have a very clear vision of who you want to become, where you want to be, because though that vision will actually get, to, get you to that point and get you through the tough days when you don't want to write a blog post, those days when you don't want to create a video, those days when you just don't want to get out of bed, right? Your vision will get you up and say, yeah, I got to do this because I have a, a larger vision for my future. And your goals coupled with your vision of who you want to become will actually propel you forward, right? And so step number two is investing in your, your, your education. Are you currently investing in yourself? Are you investing in coaching? You know, are you, do you buy, buy courses and attend seminars? Are you reading books, listening to podcasts, right? I am, um, I'm constantly uh, listening to podcasts, whether it be um, some examples who I listen to, Ray Higdon, obviously, is some pers a person that I listen to on a podcast. Um, David Wood, uh, Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Brendan Bruchard, right? These are people that I'm constantly filling my mind with, um, 
Gary Vaynerchuk. You know, I'm on webinars very frequently. So you have to invest uh, in your, your education because when you invest in your education, you're able to serve better, right? You understand and you can bring more value to your audience by what you learn. When you, invest, when you invest in yourself and uh, you raise your level of awareness and your level of education and knowledge, you know, then you're able to teach others, right, who are excited and who love to learn. And here's the kicker, right? When you become the teacher, when you are sharing value, when you're sharing content, those people who are listening to you, they will want to work with you. They will want to buy with you and they will want to want to hire you, right? And I, I, I've seen it in my business, you know, in fact, like uh, yesterday, you know, right now, yesterday, I got two gentlemen who uh, reached out to me. Uh, one is um, runs an insurance company, and the other person is a real estate broker, and they want to learn how to do social media marketing. And so I am working with them and charging them money. And so when you put content out there, when you invest in your education and you share value, people will be attracted to you and reach out to you and, and connect with you because they want to, one, learn from you, work with you, and then you'll get you to help them, right? So step number two is investing uh, in your education. Step number three is, you know, create content with authority. Question for you, what's the fastest way to become an authority? What, what do you think is the fastest way to become an authority? Comment in the comment box. The fastest way to become an authority. Any thoughts? Go to school, get a PhD. That's one way. <laughs> it's not, not really fast. What's that, another two, two extra years of college? If you have a master's degree, yeah. Um, so the fastest way, you know, some, some ideas could be, you might think, you know, getting a PhD, becoming an MBA, uh, getting a master's of business administration is a, a, a fast way to become a person, uh, a person of authority. Expensive way. Uh, it does take time. That's two years right there. Greg says, become proficient so you know what you're talking about that can help others in practical ways. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's basically it. You know, be being a T personality doesn't make you an authority. You don't need results to become an authority. If if you if you're waiting for results to become an authority. Um, sorry, my screen just. Messed up. Okay. If you're waiting for results to become an authority um, and you're waiting for that $100,000 a month, um, you know, re residual income, you'll be waiting for a while. The fastest way to become an authority is to teach, right? Consider this, you know, think back to when you were in school, right? Who had the authority in the classroom? The teacher, you know, be it was a, a, a small audience of 25, maybe even smaller than 10, 15, 25 kids in the classroom, but because they were the ones in front of the class providing value, providing education and teaching, they were the authority. So the, the fastest way to become an authority is to teach. And that's where that's where you control the game, right? That's where you control, you know, your 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 income when you are providing content and value and call to action, get people to actually invest and, and, and connect with you, right? You become the, the teacher and you become the authority. To teach, you must first learn, right? So in step two, you got to invest in education. You got to learn some things, right? If you want to be a prolific basketball player, you got to learn how to, how to dribble. You got to learn how to shoot free throws. You got to, well, maybe <laughs> free throws, but you got to learn how to do certain fundamentals before you can actually teach someone how to do the, the, the same thing that you're, you're, you're teaching about, right? So again, investing in your education. You also, you know, when you, when you invest in your education, you are knowing that it's creating a platform of value, meaning you have a repository now of, of information and, and content and ideas and skill sets that you can share with people who are not as skilled as you, right? You, consider this, right? 90%, maybe even, even larger percentage than that, 90, 95% of people, um, you know more than 90 or 95% of people in the industry, right? By virtue of obviously being on this webinar and training and, and learning, you know more than 95% of people in the, in the industry, and you can go out there and teach them something, right? And the best way, the best way to uh, to teach and to create content is is blogging, right? Blogging is the the very very best way. Does this kind of make sense? Are we still we're good? This makes sense, everybody. Cool. I'm seeing yes, yes, tons of value. Awesome, sweet, cool. Sweet. You know, so to, to be, become an authority, you, you must first understand your vision. You must understand who you want to become 
uh, and where you're going with this business, with your industry, and what your life will look like when you achieve your goals. Secondly, you have to invest in your education, right? Invest in your education and, and, and increase your value. And third, you, you must create content with authority, and the best way to do that is blogging. And so why blogging, right? Why, why blogging? You know, let me, let me ask you this. Um, comment in the comment box if um, – my assumption is that many of you are in your chosen industry until, meaning, you know, until you succeed, correct? And so if you're in network marketing, you know, comment in the, com in the chat box, you know, how long do you want to be prospecting in the mall? How long do you want to host home parties? You know, how long do you want to attend hotel meetings? And how long do you want to meet one-on-one -on -one with prospects, right? Not very long, right? You, you want to get to a point where people are actually uh, coming to you, right? I'm seeing yeses, yeses. Yeah, exactly. And so when you blog and you blog consistently, you won't have to do much of that. And if you... If you choose to, you can still do, obviously, cold market prospecting, but you really don't have to with blogging because you're creating, you know, uh, consistent value and you're creating uh, people or an opportunity for people to, to reach out to you, and connect with you and be attracted to you. Right. And so. So why start blogging? Right. You know, um, blogging is is powerful because there are only two things you own in your business. Um, online, and that is your email list and your blog, if you have one. You don't own any of the social media sites out there like Facebook, YouTube, um, you know, uh, Pinterest, Periscope, etc. And the Mark Zuckerbergs of the world can decide at any given moment they don't like what you're doing and shut you down. I I'll be the first to tell you I've had it done to me as well. I I've had it done. My account's been shut down. Uh, my ads account's been shut down. And so you have to uh, – having a blog uh, is your – Online real estate. That's how you will build your business online through your blog. It also allows you to build rapport. You know, having a, a blog allows you to build rapport with your prospects easier uh, than calling calling leads, right? Cold calling leads can work, but it's not the best way, especially because the prospects don't know you, right? I've had when I when I first got started in the industry, I bought leads, right? And I called these leads and they'd be like, Who are you? Where'd you get my number from? What do you do? Oftentimes, they even like just hung up on me because they knew I was calling because I got their name from some capture page that someone had and I was trying to get them in my business, right? When you build rapport with your blog, your prospects are reading about you. They're learning about you. Uh, and when they opt into a form, they they really are connected with you. They are emotionally um, invested, <laughs> so, so to speak, in you. And so when you call, it's like, hey, you're calling me, Antonio. What's going on? How are you? I'm so surprised to hear your voice, right? I, I didn't think you would call. And it's, it, it creates this this, uh, this dynamic where they're seeing you, again, as an authority and as a leader. And that's what you want. Um, it positions you as a leader, as I said before. So, uh, you know, it's your hub. It's, it's, it's why people will connect with you because they see you as an authority, as a leader. And it's the... Blogs are actually very, um, uh, you know, uh, passive way to get leads. You're not paying for it. It's your your content. And so when you when you create content, and you share value. Leads will come in for free and passively. You know, this morning I woke up to 25 leads. You know, and that's because no, well, 25 was 13 leads actually. 13 leads, and um, um, they were all through you know blogging, right? And so these are things that are out there in the atmosphere that people have connected to. And it's also another stream of income. Most people, you know, obviously most people won't join opportunity. So on your blog, you can share other valuable information and, and services to help them, right? Affiliate offers and, and other things. So when you, um, the fourth step is, you know, building and serving your audience, right? And so when you have a blog, you can create um, an audience that is, is, um, is they 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 idolize you to to a certain extent, right? Um, you know, when you think back to that list of a hundred and you're chasing people, your family and friends, they're kind of just like, I mean, your friends and family are kind of just like tolerating you. They're really not trying to join your business. They're just like placating you. And so when you create your own tribe, your own community through your blog, you were celebrated. You were seen as a leader, as an authority, as someone who could help them, someone they, they care about, they like, know, and trust. And that's a powerful feeling. It's going to help you to continue to grow your business. Also, you got to learn, if you're in business, um, you have to learn uh, to generate leads. That's the, the end of the day, right? 
if you if you are not generating leads for your business through your blog, um, you need to. Well, I'm gonna show some some tips and strategies on how to do that. But that's your goal, right? Your goal is to figure out how to get leads uh, through your blog from your blog, so they translate into this you know this tribe and this audience that you can then convert into sales, right? And how do you convert them to sales? You continue to provide value with solutions to their problem. And then you have to engage them, right? You have to communicate with them, you know, share uh, more value through your email list. You know, um, if they if you have a tribe on like social media or a group or things like that, you want to communicate with them on an ongoing basis and share value with them, right? Um, I'm probably, you know, uh, reading some people's minds here. You know, what do I blog about, Antonio? You know, so you're 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 thinking to yourself, you know, blogging helps, you know, me create authority, build my brand. I get that. I get that. Um, but I don't know what to talk about. You know, I, I don't know what I should blog about. What should I write? You know, there's, there's so many topics I could talk about. I could talk about travel. I could talk about my lifestyle. I could talk about, you know, food. But what, 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 does, what does my audience want to, want to hear? And I'm going to share with you a very simple formula that I learned in this course. Um, uh, it's basically the, you may have heard it, the ILT method. Um, invest, learn, teach, right? So if you're on some sort of training webinar or you've read a book or you've done something that's relevant to your audience, now your audience can be network marketers, your audience can be you know, folks who are in the travel industry, your audience can be um, people who are interested in health and wellness, right? So if you, you read something or you experience some sort of uh, knowledge uh, attainment, um, in some fashion, a webinar, training, a book, um, someone talking to you about an issue, you can take that knowledge and, 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 and share that with your audience, right? Most people get the invest part correct, right? So they spend time on a training, on a webinar, they get all this information, they write these copious notes down, and it stops there. Right? How many of you have notebooks of, of filled with notes that are just sitting there? By a show of hands. Yep, seeing hands. <laughs> awesome, right? So you got notebooks of books that are just sitting there, and you know, you 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 may have or may have not taken the second step, which is to actually implement those notes and take action, right? You know, if you you're on this webinar now and you're taking notes, you're learning some things and you know, what are you going to implement, right? You have to take action on some things and actually do them. And then the third step, which is, you know, two to three percent of people who who actually go through a training will actually teach it, right? How, most people won't go out there and become an authority and say, hey, I learned this in this webinar. I'm going to share it with my audience and teach it. And that's where you become the authority, authority and that's where you make money, right? Become the authority, invest in your, in your education, actually take action on what you learn and then teach it to your audience, okay? That's what you gotta do. And inside the, um, the Three Minute Expert, you know, um, Ray actually teaches how to come up with attractive content that positions you uh, as a leader uh, in your, your niche, right? And so, invest, learn, team, simplify, right? The notes you have been taken are uncashed checks, right? All the notes you've taken right now in this training, previous trainings, you know, um, conferences, webinars, events, whatever it is, and you haven't uh, taught them or turned around and made them into content to share with the audience, those are uncashed checks, right? Imagine you came home from a conference and, and in your mail, mailbox, there were three checks, right? And let's say those checks in total were, was worth $10,000. Would you just leave those checks on the table and go about your regular business? Or would you take that check or those checks and rush the bank or deposit them using your phone app. What would you do? Exactly. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you'd go to the bank, right? And put that money in the bank. The same is true for your notes, right? Those notes uh, you've taken, you know, even on this webinar, are uncashed checks. And to cash them, you must convert them into content, online content, with a call to action to your audience, right? And what are call to actions? Call to actions are basically telling your audience what to do next, right? So you share some content from one of your uncashed checks, notes, or whatever, right? And you say, hey, I learned this on this training last night. Invest, learn, teach. This is what I learned. Boom, 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 boom. If you got value out of this, 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 uh, that, that video or that blog post, you know, email me, call me, visit my website. 
download this PDF, you know, buy this course too, right? You want to, whenever you put content out there, this is good for, uh, someone mentioned that they, um, they want to know how to uh, monetize their blog. This is the key way to monetize your blog, right? In your blog post, share with people what you want them to do next. Take the next step. What is the next step? Is it to call you? Is it to email you? Is it to buy this course? Is it to you know download this PDF to, to generate a lead? Whatever it is, you want to tell your prospects, people that are on your, your blog, exactly what to do. And this is how you, you generate ongoing leads and, and sales in your business. Very simple. Simple, simple. Take those notes, turn them into content, add a call to action, generate leads, generate sales in your business. Here are some other, you know, sources of, of content that you can uh, pull from, right? Existing books, right? Look on your bookshelf. What's out there? What do you have uh, on your bookshelf that you've read and is relevant to your or audience, right? If you do coaching calls, whether you are um, the coach or you're the one receiving the coaching, you can take that information that your coach or you're sharing on that coaching session and turn that also into content. If you attend events, you know, uh, you probably take tons of notes at events you go to. Um, and if you do, you can translate all that into uh, content for your blog or your, um, your website, whatever, right? Webinars, podcasts, um, articles. You should never run out of content ideas. Library and bookstores, going to Barnes and Nobles or um, you know, Amazon uh, to look at some of the, the, the hottest books in your, your niche, right? And figuring out, okay, this is a hot topic. Let me write a blog post about that. You can also do book reviews, right? Um, your past notes, I said before, right? Um, grocery store. This is a good one, actually. If you're in health and wellness, what do you see when you check out uh, at the uh, grocery counter line, right? You see these, oftentimes you see these health and wellness magazines with, you know, some of the, the hottest headlines um, uh, in the industry, right? You know, get rid of that seven ways to reduce that belly fat or that baby fat, whatever it is, right? You can grab those headlines and create a piece of content uh, for your audience. I said Amazon bestsellers before. You can also look at forums to find, you know, good content for your, your blog. You can also look at leaders and gurus' websites and, and social media pages, right? They're, they're constantly answering, you know, questions of, of, of the marketplace, right? And so in any niche, there's going to be someone who is the thought leader or someone who uh, is a top leader in that particular niche. And so... They probably have a presence on social media. They're probably responding to uh, their fans and, and their uh, uh, people who engage with the posts and answering questions. And so you can look at that stuff and say, oh, he's talking about X, Y, and Z. Let me do a blog post about X, Y, and Z. People seem to be liking that stuff. You can look at their blog. You can look at you know their sales pages, You know things that are actually generating them in income to see what kinds of things they're saying in their sales page, like what questions are they asking or answering. Um, of their audience, and then write a blog post about that. There's unlimited sources of, of content. Can you think of other uh, places or sources of content for, for your blog? Any, any other thoughts about where you can find some? The library, I said that. Yep, that's the one. Uh, other places you can find content? Um Podcast, yep, we said that. Uh, books, yep. Brian Tracy, uh, Zig Ziglar, yeah. I mean, these are all industry leaders, and they're talking about um, you know things that are relevant to our audience. You can definitely Eric Warre, yeah. They're they're talking about stuff in the industry, and you know those those topics are relevant to your target audience. All you have to do is like say, okay, Eric's talking about you know how to use your mobile device to make appointments, right? And so that's what you would do, right? Very simple. Very simple. Just look at the leaders, what they're doing, what they're saying, and create your own content around them. There's nothing wrong with duplicating you know, what's what's going on, right? Just putting in your own, put it in your own words. So how do you monetize your blog? I know someone mentioned this before, right? About learning how to to monetize your blog. And so I shared earlier that it's really about you know putting out calls to actions and telling your your um, your prospect or your viewer exactly what to do. And in the um, Three Minute Expert Attraction Marketing Edition, uh, Ray teaches how he built a $2 million a year blog and brand from scratch. But as I said before, it's about the first goal is to generate leads, right? On your homepage, 
have a free giveaway on your homepage. You know, I have a, you'll see it in the upcoming slide. Um, I have a, a, a five part video series that is free. It's basically telling people, you know, how do you use uh, Facebook to generate leads and sales and recruit reps in your business? It's a five part video series. It's for free. They opt in, they get the, um, the, the five part video series. I get the name and email address. I follow up, we have a conversation. I also use a plugin on my blog called uh, Quickie Bar Pro, and I'll show that in the next slide. Basically, it's a bar in the bottom that pops up or top. It pops up and says, you know, hey, check this out, free training, or hey, check this out. There's a course that you can get that's going to teach you how to do X, Y, and Z. Very simple thing to add to your blog, um, but it's, it's something that pops up uh, for, for viewers when they come to, the, to your blog. Um, sidebar offers, right? These are sidebar um, images that can be a, a free offer or even a course or a product for sale, right? Definitely utilizing the sidebar is, is key uh, to generating some revenue. You can also include, um, you know, links to particular uh, products inside your blog post. Let's say you're talking about a particular book, right? And you have um, your affiliate with uh, Amazon, let's say, or you have some other affiliate um a thing going on with a company or whatever, and you're talking about something relative related to uh, that particular product inside your blog post. You can say, "Hey, you know, I just got done reading this book, uh, and this is what this blog post is about." Click the link to grab the book as well, and you can earn commission over that book sale. Right? Um, this is key. Signature and PS line. These are um, uh, very, very powerful uh, suggestions. So, in your blog post, including your signature your name, obviously, and uh, maybe a picture, but also including a link to some offer or some way for them to connect with you further, right? So on my page, on my blog post, I have like, you know, a link to to work with me, um, to fill out, fill out an application to actually work with me and get some coaching. Or I have a PS line that says, you know, um, struggling to get leads for your business, check out this, you know, um, $7 course or something, or you know, want to learn how? Want to learn what to say to prospects on the phone? Here's a a seven dollar uh, PDF that's going to show you exactly what to say to your prospects to get them to opt in to become a business partner, whatever it is, right? So you can embed these these uh, different offers in your blog post, in your signature PS line, on your sidebar, uh, but also in your your um, you want to make sure that you have a a place to to generate leads as well. Uh, with a free giveaway and offer. So here's an example of of my my homepage. So you see, I have the um, the the free offer. Download my free five day course. Uh, get into act. Get access now. Basically, it's a free offer. People click on that. They fill out a form. I get a lead. They get the course. Um, the quickie bar here below. It is uh, in blue, right here. Um, Basically, that's going to a product that's going to sell them something. I'm not sure what it is actually, <laughs> but uh, no audience. Yeah, I think it's a seven dollar um, offer to to um, the person. So it's a free video, um, quick quick five minute video training on something, and then it directs them to buy a particular um, product. Um, talked about the sidebar, right? So this is a, it's not on the screen yet. Uh, there we go. Um, there's the, um, the sidebar when I was talking about before, and this is for Ray Higdon, three minute expert. Basically, um, folks click on that. They, uh, can buy the course and I get a sale there, right? Um, Another example of the sidebar is here, and actually I'm going to show you the sidebar and uh, an embedded uh, sort of uh, way to monetize uh, and get leads, right? So this is actually, um, the one on the right is, there's a three-minute expert and there's a, a, a six-figure formula for leads, but inside the blog post, you can see that there's a, uh, a link to, this is for this webinar actually. Uh, click to get registered for this webinar. So that's embedded in the blog post. So you can certainly embed, as I said before, uh, links and, and products inside your blog post if it's relevant to the blog post, right? Here's another one. Here's one where I actually embedded a book. So I'm talking about uh, Gary Vaynerchuk, and I went to an event uh, where he spoke, 
And um, here's the link to his new book, right? He was talking about his new book. And so I talked about the book in the what in the um the blog post, and so I've included a link to Amazon to actually buy this blog, buy this book, and I get, I'm an affiliate with uh, Amazon, so if someone does click on that link and buys that book, I earn a commission. So you can do that with practically anything, right? Anything that's relevant to your, your blog post, you can um, add a product in there, right? So if you're talking about generating leads on on um, Instagram and you have a Instagram training, you can throw that in there as well. You know, a $5 training you have, put it in there. If you're talking about weight loss and you reference, you know, um, a product that you're using, put a link to the product in there, right? If you're, if you're in a company that has tea or has uh, a travel program and you're talking about a recent vacation you took and you, how you got discounts, uh, put the link to, you know, the program that you use to get that discount. You know, people are, are, are really um, open to that and receptive to getting that information. Um, this one shows how I use the PS line. Um, and so this goes on at the bottom of every of every one of my blog posts. Basically, um, I say, considering coaching, check out my work with me tab where I help people every day. So when someone clicks on that, they become a lead for me. And then I follow, follow up with them to see if they're open to coaching, if they, you know, uh, are interested in working with me, whatever it is. And so we, we have that conversation. And then the last one is the PS line. And this works very, very well to generate leads, but you can also use it to generate sales. This particular PS line is um, a, a link to a blueprint to uh, get leads on, online. And it basically is an opt-in form um, that uh, gives uh, a free, I think it's a free PDF or a free video on how to really get leads online. And so I get a lead, I get their phone number and I call them to have a conversation and Sometimes it's a sale, sometimes it's not a sale, but I have a lead and I, have a, I can have a conversation with them. Um, so those are just some um, some easy, easy ways to um, tweak your blog post to incorporate, you know, uh, additional monetization in your blog. So we talked about on the homepage, the sidebar, uh, within the blog post, the PS line and um, your signature. Right. And so that's. That's pretty, pretty, pretty much it. You know, like those are the five ways that um, five secrets that I've learned from this um, this course. Uh, you know, definitely having a blog um, is your ultimate piece of real estate online and and leverage. Right. If you want to grow a business, um, you know, that is. Uh, that, that runs without you being present, meaning you don't have to go to hotel meetings, meaning you don't have to, you know, uh, go out there and prospect in the mall and talk to strangers and chase your family and friends, creating content, valuable content that responds to your audience's problems and needs uh, is critical. And blogging is, is one way you can actually do it. So I'm not sure why you're here this evening. You know, maybe you uh, enjoy jumping on webinars and learning and getting education and maybe you'll you're a you know someone who is is you know going to take this information and sit back on the couch and watch the next game or watch TGIT um, I hope that's not you this evening and I hope you will actually uh, be like the person on the right and spring into action and and take you know some uh, massive action to get results uh, in your business. But, you know, how would it feel to end the frustration uh, of feeling like a failure and finally uh, getting results in your business? Comment in the comment box. Let me know. Would it feel great? Okay. Incredible. Cool. How would it feel to simply follow instructions, have fun, uh, and have it actually produce commissions? Sweet. Okay. How would it feel to have a blog that generates leads for you 24 seven, right? You don't have to, you know, be at the computer. You don't have to be awake. You don't have to, you know, be responding to people, but the leads are just flowing in, right? Cool. Incredible. How would it feel if not only, uh, you get your business back on track, but to truly feel like a different, more accomplished person. You know, when I first got started in this industry, you know, I, did, I felt like a failure. I didn't know, you know, what I was doing. I felt like I was letting people down, but when I learned, you know, certain strategies and techniques on how to, how to grow my business, it um, it makes life much easier and better for me. I feel more accomplished, right? And so there are several ways that you can actually, you know, do this, right? You can you can go and invest, um, 
you know, thousands of dollars in, in a coach. Um, I think, you know, some people charge $10,000 for a year of coaching. Some charge 12. I don't know, but it's expensive for coaching or you can do the fat. There's a fast way and a more cost of way, cost effective way. And that is to get the course, right? The three minute expert, right? I've been going through this course and it's been, uh, quite, quite incredible and transformational in my business. Um, if you want to follow along, I'm going to go through what this course actually entails very, very quickly. Uh, it's the Antonio R. Thompson.com forward slash, um, ultimate, and you can, uh, check it out. Okay. Um, but the, um, three minute expert, uh, is probably the most complete product Ray Higdon has ever created and the most complete system on the market on gaining authority and credibility. It teaches you branding and how to build your audience online, build you as an authority online, but also build your audience uh, online. You know, what if, what if people were reaching out to you every single day to learn from you, work with you and buy from you? What if leads actually wanted to talk to you, right? <laughs> a, a, a reference back to when I first got started and I bought these leads uh, from this company and I would have hundreds of leads and I would call them and it, it, it's quite discouraging uh, when you call someone and it's like, who are you? Click. Or they, 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 you, you call them and they're just like, uh, why are you calling me? Who are you? What's your name? What do you want? Uh, when you generate your own leads and you, you have people who are reaching out to you, the conversations are much, much more friendlier and, and definitely you have more, more power. Right. Not say you're going to be power hungry, but you have more power. Right. They, they contacted you. They reached out to you because they want something from you as opposed to when you're calling cold lead, cold lead you're kind of like, all right, hope this one, hope this one bites, hope this one buys, hope this one buys. Right. The reverse is like people are actually interested in wanting to learn from you. Imagine you picked up the phone and people were excited and thankful to talk to, talk to you. I said that already. <laughs> um, so if you get through an expert, uh, the attraction marketing edition right now, you get over $4,500 worth of, of bonuses. Now these bonuses, uh, will probably never be offered again. Uh, so I'm going to go through exactly, you know, what you get with the uh, three minute expert. Um, you get a step by step how to become a credible authority in your niche. Um, you get, you know, branding and how to create content that separates you from your competition. Uh, never again, you don't have to beg someone, your family, your friends, strangers to look at your opportunity. Instead, you get people calling you. This course covers every possible step to branding yourself big online. And you will literally get everything Ray knows about blogging and branding. The retail value of this course is, is $4.97, right? And here, here's what it includes, right? You get the authority multiplier, which you know you will instantly start getting 10x the results you normally do, right? 10x the traffic, you know, 10x the engagement, 10x the revenue. You um, the instant fame for formula, right? So no longer having to worry about you know that nobody knows who you are, that nobody cares about what you have to say. You know, people, um, you know, people will will thank you. You know, once you start to provide value and and, and information, education, you're instantly going to be a social media rock star. I guarantee it. Um, the lifelong lead machine, right? If your business requires a steady stream of prospects and leads to talk to, you know, and you are chasing people right now. You're tired of chasing people and prospecting people. By blogging, you're going to create a lifelong lead machine that has leads coming in constantly on autopilot and for free. Um, you get the idea factory. Now, this is really just a simple method that you know turns um, you know you into someone who has something interesting and valuable and things to say every day, basically helping you to create content uh, and, and ideas. Uh, you also get the niche evaluator, which is basically letting you know and helping you to identify and hone in on your target market, right? A lot of times we are very, um, very uh, too broad in, in our, um, our target marking, market. And what this, this particular uh, uh, module in this course does, it allows you to pinpoint exactly who your target market is. I think uh, John Lee Dumas, who is Entrepreneur on Fire, he says, you know, go go a mile deep instead of a mile wide, right? So you want to dig very deep into that niche so that you are very focused and, and clear. Organic traffic tsunami, right? No longer paying for, for traffic. You know, traffic will, will come as you continue to provide value uh, and information. And the biggest mistake, you know, bloggers and entrepreneurs make who have 
um, a, a blog is not being able to monetize their blog uh, effectively. I think there was a report that I saw um, that 98% of bloggers barely make $150,000 a year. So only about 2% are making $150,000 a year. So with this particular uh, module in the course, you're going to learn exactly how to monetize your blog. And I showed you a few ways uh, this this evening on how to do it, and Ray shows you a bit more in this course. You get the audience mind reading trick, meaning to discover exactly what you should be talking about to engage with your audience and make them make them hyper responsive to everything you say. Um, this works even if you don't know, uh, if you don't think you have anything of value to share. Oh, the magic PS technique I showed you this actually today, uh, where you put a PS line and you can generate uh, some leads and sales. Um, and the seven figure blueprint, you know, Ray shares, you know, how he did his first million dollars from his blog in 2013 and gives you the exact blueprint of how he did it. Additionally, you get a 30 day risk free trial of MLSP sites blogging platform. You know, this is probably the most powerful all in one blog solution to launch your WordPress blog to the world in 24 hours or less. It's built on WordPress. It's self hosted and self branded. Uh, Enterprise level hosting, you get pre, uh, pro paid uh, for plugins and themes, and ultimately no tech skills required. So you don't have to learn coding, you don't have have to have to learn you know HTML. It's it's very very straightforward uh, in terms of setting that uh, blog up. Now there's more bonuses. <laughs> um, you get access to a private Facebook group. You get three uh, sample blog titles that work in any niche. Um, how to make great images that boost social media sharing, 10 never fail content ideas, the six keys to building authority by being consistent, uh, 10 recorded blog reviews, and six recorded question and answer sessions from top marketers and newbies. You also get the best way to use ads for your blog and to build your audience. You get two Q&A sessions with uh, seven-figure blogger uh, Ray Higdon, unlimited content ideas and money-making opportunities, uh, complete WordPress overview and Q&A, um, there's a lot of stuff here, <laughs> uh, WordPress plugins, themes, uh, and widgets, uh, MLSP sites and WordPress complete design demo with Q and a blog mayhem archives become the best. And you also will get, I will actually work with you. This is a special bonus. I will actually review your blog and help you get it set up um, so that you are, uh, optimized and, and ready to, to, to put it out there and, and get leads from your business. Um, so quick recap, you know, right now, if you get it right now, you get over $4,500 worth of bonuses. You'll never see this bonus uh, offer probably again. Um, and again, here's what you get very quickly. I'll just run through this very quickly so you will see it. And the value is kind of small, but you get all of this. Uh, and the total retail value of all of this is $4,712. Now, would it be worth it? Would it be worth four thousand seven hundred twelve dollars if, if you, if you learn, you know, how to forever generate leads and never run out of people to talk to? If it allowed you to just add one new person a week to your business? If it gave you, you know, skills to go out there and talk to people at will? If it, if it added an extra thousand dollars a month inside income, would it be worth it? I'm seeing yeses. I'm seeing yeses. Absolutely. If it gave you a little more time freedom, awesome. Yeah. So here's the deal. You know, the um, the real world value is four thousand seven hundred and twelve dollars. Um, your risk free investment is one seventeen. Three payments of one seventeen, or you can save fifty four dollars and get it at two ninety seven. Now, I guarantee that uh, you're going to love the Three Minute Expert. In fact, I'm so convinced of this that you can get it and try it risk-free for 30 days, right? So sign up today uh, with either the one paid plan or three paid plan, then take the next 30 days to go through the video training and begin applying it. If you're not completely thrilled with your decision to buy it, contact customer service by day 30, and we'll give you a full refund of what you paid up to that point. Right. So not only am I removing all risk and putting it squarely on my shoulders where it belongs, I'm also giving you the sweetest deal. I know you're going to love it, but if for whatever reason you don't risk free, 100 uh, percent money back guarantee at 30 days. So let's just go and you know, share with you what some people are saying about uh, the product. And this is uh, Julie 
Uh, Shmisi says, I've been blogging. Well, my blog wasn't getting traction until I implemented Ray's advice. I've been blogging for almost a year now. Wasn't getting great traction on my blog until Ray reviewed it and recommended some changes. We did as he suggested and got over 1,500 hits on our blog and offers within 24 hours of making the changes. Amazing training Ray Hickman gives. Uh, Jeff says, my business grew 400% in, the last, in, la in less than a year. Before learning Ray's system, getting my name in front of people in a cost-effective manner was my biggest struggle. I had tried magazine publications, direct mail, and newspaper ads. I was spending way more than I was making each and every time after implementing the 3-Minute Expert and utilizing some low-cost Google ads. My business increased 400% in less than one year, equating to well over 400000 in additional revenue. If you're serious about increasing your business, no matter your specialty, Ray knows zero about uh, generators. You simply must learn the system of blogging and marketing. It simply works. Two more testimonials. Uh, this is from Jessica. Uh, she says, I'm getting in front of more people than I imagined. Ray's blogging training is spot on. Not only is it practical and something you can put into effect immediately, this guy practices what he preaches and has gotten amazing results himself first so you know it works. I'm showing up in all kinds of keyword searches and getting in front of even more people than I imagined because of it. I'm ready to turn my six-figure year into seven. Pretty incredible. My friend, um, this is actually a typo, Bonnie Cribs, uh, my list is now eight times bigger. Ray, the Make Money blog training was exceptional. Before your training, I had done a lot of posts but where was getting no traction. Your training helped me create better content, write better title copy, learn how to promote it, how to utilize better call to actions, how to use keywords, and how to stay congruent by providing relevant value to my target market. The tweaks that I learned I needed to make um, did not seem like a big deal, but after implementing what you suggested, it all came together. Now my blog looks amazing, generates leads, my list has grown from 1,000 to 8,000, has shown me as a credible resource, and now I have sales from my blog posts being made consistently. Thank you, Ray. So will this work for me, right? You're probably thinking, yeah, will this work for me, right? I have a juice, I'm in a juice business, I'm in weight loss, I'm in nutrition, I have a credit card payback program, I have a rewards program, I'm financial services, I do coaching, I do real estate, uh, local business, travel, uh, telecom, uh, telecom, that was the last one, oops, sorry, telecom. And you, I want you to ask yourself, you know, three questions, right? Before people buy your product or service, do they ask questions? If they ask questions, then this will work for you. Do your prospects ever go to Google and Google your profession, Google your product, you know, check out reviews, uh, credibility? If they use Google, then you too can benefit from this three-minute expert uh, attraction marketing edition. Now, I just want to say, you know, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity to share with you what I've learned from Ray and his course. I hope you got some value this evening. You know, if you want to become an authority, you know, I highly, highly suggest that you check out uh, the 3-Minute Expert Attraction Marketing Edition. And at this point, I'll open it up for, for questions.